Sorry, I was talking to someone else, sorry. Oh, okay. My apologies, yeah, sorry.
with the handheld. Okay. So it's going to come back to me. So. Okay. All right, we're going to do something here. Hopefully, it's How are you? Ava and Braden. Oh, this is the yours. That's yours. Okay. Sorry, Paul. That's okay. I'll get them. First and foremost, I would ask that we all rise. Gentlemen, take your hats off, please, as two of our students will be helping us with the Pledge of Allegiance. I would like to welcome Maya and, A and Aiden, uh, Braden, sorry, Braden. Come on, Come on down. Thank you, my friends. Good morning. Today marks a very significant day 
in the Mendez, David Mendez building project. A number of months ago, we stood here as we broke ground. And there are monument, monumental times throughout a building project that allows us to representatives, senators, MSBA, the students, the teachers. I can't express my thanks as the leader of this district for the support you've given us. As you can see, we've got a skeleton, at least, of a building. This is really amazing. Our partnerships The first speaker got her chops working in community service here in Our process when we would go into the MSBA and advocate for the building, the need, the well-loved and respected Mendez that exists today, understanding we need a new one for this community. I can't thank Senator Spilka. You put in behind the scenes, continuously thinking about what's best for our community. So without further ado, I ask you to come to the stand to give some few remarks. Thank you. Before I joined the legislature, it was when I was on the school committee over 20 years ago. I know, I see some of you chuckling. It would be... ...about a community persisting and persevering. My two sons came here to this school a school that was built in 
to the basement, constantly happening. Roof leaking, so flooding from on top. Mold, mildew, not ADA compliant. The classrooms are small, considered small for what true teaching and learning is now. There are so many things that need to be uh, fixed in this school. Again, despite heroic efforts by staff and our community to make this the best school possible for our amazing students. Our community began working towards the rebuilding, as I mentioned, over 20 years ago because of these deficiencies. And over that time, an incredible group joined this effort of parents, teachers, administrative, staff, advocates, and even many of you students throughout Ashland and beyond, culminating last year when residents of the town overwhelmingly voted to go out of their way to advance this project. And our partners at the Massachusetts State School Building Authority agreed with our need for our critical need for a new school. There are many people I would like to just take a moment to thank and extend my deep appreciation to, including our superintendent, Jim Adams. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do for our kids in Ashland and help make uh, Ashland a center of learning excellence. Thank you. I want to thank the prior superintendents as well. School committee chair, Lori Tosti, and the other wonderful members of the school committee, uh, both past and present, thank you. Phil Conroy, yep, you can clap. They deserve it. It's not an easy job, volunteer job, by the way. Uh, school Building Committee Chair Paul Kendall and the members of this great committee. Our terrific partners at the Massachusetts School Building Authority, Executive Director Jack McCarthy and CEO Jim McDonald, thank you so much. Thank you for approving this project. <laughs> basically. Town Manager Michael Herbert and the Board of Selectmen acknowledging Brandy Kinsman, the Chair, and the others who are here today, Yolanda, Steve, Joe, thank you so much for all of your support. And last but not least, I certainly have to recognize and thank someone who uh, many years ago was my partner in crime. Um, the Mendes principal, you kids can hear this, uh, Claudia ben Bennett. <laughs> Actually, Claudia and I both got our starts of what we are doing now at this very Mendes school. When our children, uh, one of Claudia's daughters, one of my sons were here in, in uh, Jane Mason's and Marilyn, Marilyn Matarese's classrooms, we volunteered together. That's where we became partners in crime, in volunteering. We went on that infamous Ellis Island trip together. We also decided to run for school committee together. And we both won. And uh, needless to say, uh, that was the start uh, of Claudia's illustrious career as an administrator as well in the Ashland School system. Um, and uh, I, I think that it, it's wonderful. It was my springboard to run for state rep and then Senate, but uh, always this school has held a very special place in my heart. Given Claudia's pending retirement, the beam raising is a fitting conclusion, particularly in light of these last few years that have been especially difficult for administrators, for staff, for our students, for everyone in any school 
It has been especially difficult, and I tip my hat and thank you all from the bottom of my heart. But this be beam raising is a really fitting conclusion, a celebration at this point of a wonderful career in pursuit of this and of building this school and other goals in support of all of the students at the David Mendes Elementary School. Congratulations, big hearty congratulations on a very successful career, and I wish you the very best. Even when the roof leaked and there were buckets in the school, even when the window shades cracked from the sun or cold air came in through to the room, the learning inside the Mendes School remained top-notch, remained excellent. That's because of you, the administration, the faculty, the staff of the Mendes School, you have all remained so dedicated to your students and dedicated to each one of their success, no matter what. The staff and students at David Mendes Elementary School are creative, they're innovative, they're critical thinkers with, that are strong in character and able to overcome barriers in the pursuit of their studies and the pursuit of their learning. The students that you see here today, simply put, are our future. And that future, looking at them, is very bright. That future looks great. Congratulations to all of you. In many ways, you are the best and the brightest. And it is our obligation, simply put, to give you the educational support that not only that you need, but that you deserve. To build the future that you desire. To build the future that all of us here desire. So thank you, everyone, who's helping to make this possible. I, I would like to end with uh, two quotes, one that I signed on the beam. Uh, it's somebody who I think most of us are aware of. I shortened it. It's from a Dr. Seuss uh, quote, simply stating, the more that you learn, the more places you'll go. But I would like to also quote Horace Mann, the father of learning as we know it. And I do want to note, he is a prior Massachusetts Senate president. <laughs> Horace Mann said, education beyond all other devices of human origin is a great equalizer of conditions of men, the balance wheel of the social machinery. So it's my pleasure to look forward to seeing all of you students and beyond in the new Mendes School. Very, very exciting. I look forward to the grand opening and the dedication. Have a great day. Thank you. I would now like to call to the podium Mr. Jim McDonald from the Massachusetts School Building Authority. Good morning. You know, I think when, when the Senate President said good morning, I think that you were a lot louder. So does that mean is everybody falling asleep here today? <laughs> well, you have no excuse because the Celtics are playing tonight. They didn't play last night, right? So first of all, on behalf of State Treasurer Goldberg, the MSBA board, Jack McCarthy, uh, Evan and Erin, uh, who are project managers, uh, who are here today from MSBA, and of course, uh, Maria. Congratulations on achieving this milestone. You know, the milestone, the milestone today is, is, is the topping off. And, and what does that mean? And 
maybe Phil is going to be talking about it uh, after me. Uh, but what usually happens is that when, when we speak, somebody else takes our words. So, uh, so I, I won't be too, too much, Phil. But what the topping off is, it, it, it celebrates. Uh, it celebrates a, a part of construction that is the highest beam uh, that is placed up there. And it dates way back to the, to the Scandinavian era. And initially, they, they, they put a tree on it. And, and that was a tree to appease the gods that, you know, we have taken down, we have taken down trees in order, to, in order to make the structure. And, of course, today we use steel. Uh, and the American flag was, was then added. And for those that signed it, your names will be there forever. So as the beam goes into the structure, at some point, I'm not sure whether they're going to be able to be seen you know, throughout, the, um, throughout the building, but your memory, you just have a memory that you were a part of, of something good. And, and you know, when we were here in November for the groundbreaking, uh, it's, it, it was hard to imagine what the school was going to look like. And now when we look out there now, what an amazing structure. But that doesn't happen overnight. Uh, and at this point, I just want to also to, to thank uh, Senate President Spilka and Rep. Lewis for all their hard work to get this project done. But you know, it, it, it's not just this project that they work on. Uh, it, it's everything up in, in the State House to make sure that you have the best possible chance to succeed. And by putting, uh, by putting their, their, their power behind schools like this, uh, it really shows the type of individuals that they are, is that they care about their community. They care about you. They care about your future. Uh, and that is really something that, that we see them do you know, throughout the year. So again, I want you to give the, the Senate President and, and the Representative a round of applause. And you know, also to your school building committee, you put together quite a team here. Uh, these are a team that, is, that are experts, uh, that deliver throughout the state, uh, and, and really, really will give you uh, an amazing, amazing facility. And I just sort of want to remind them that I was down in Wareham for, uh, for school uh, on Saturday. We had, a, we had a ribbon cutting. And you know what? The school came in on the budget. So, uh, Let's see, if you can, uh, let's see if you can beat that, huh? What do you think? So, and, and, and finally, to the teachers uh, and, and to the kids. This is going to give you an opportunity to, to have a state-of-the-art facility, which every child in the Commonwealth deserves. They, they really do. And you should also thank, you know, your, your parents, your grandparents, and, and the residents of, of Ashland for what they do. So I want you to just all stand up. Teachers are going to kill me. Can't stand up and just look at some of the folks here and on cable TV and just say thank you on three. One, two, three. All right, so now, now you can all sit back down again. All right, can have the superintendent come up and do whatever they do to have you be quiet. <laughs> so I'm just going to end with a, with, with a quote from, from uh, that Jack McCarthy always, always ends with. And that is, I know I started it, so it's my fault. <laughs> my fault. I have a son who's a school teacher, and I'll tell him that I, I sort of made a mistake. But Dan Valentine is a reporter in the Salt Lake City Tribune. Uh, and he once wrote that a school is four walls with tomorrow inside. And we at the MSBA are proud to be a part of your tomorrow. Thank you. Y'all are doing well. We have one more speaker. I heard that. So I'd like to introduce Mr. Phil Conroy, who's the senior project manager, who will give us a little insight as to what the beam raising is.
Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. The last nail beam placed is a major milestone in the evolution of any major building project. This milestone is commemorated by painting the beam white, adorning it with a small evergreen, an American flag, and inviting all those involved in the project to sign the beam. The evergreen tree is a key symbol. In the steel trade, it, is be, it has come to signify positive outlooks and the bestowment of good luck to all future occupants. This moment is a milestone point where satisfaction can be taken for all work expended to date. A great deal of labor lies ahead, but in putting this last beam in place, we have prefigured the whole. In summary, this ceremony and the customs contained within celebrate the construction process, the building's first introduction to the public, and honors the accomplishments of all those involved in the project to date. We are pleased to introduce to you all today, as, as well as celebrate together, the beginnings of what will become the new David Mendez Elementary School. Thank you. I'm gonna ask all of the David Mendez students who are out here to please stand. After, after you hear, after you hear the horn blow, we're going to count down loudly from five, four, exactly, down to one. Now place the beam in over there. You can see the crane. Okay? Listen for the horn first, then we'll do this together. Five, four, three. Two, one. Here it comes. The beam is now in place. Yeah. 